When you are actually doing Bhagavatam every day, when you are actually doing the service of the Lord every day, when you are doing the devotional service every day, when you are actually serving the devotees every day, so it is said that two things will happen. The first thing, whatever which is troublesome will be vanquished. And then bhakti will be established in our heart as an irrevocable fact. Right? That's what they say, like bhaktir bhavati naishtaki. It will be established <coughs> as an irrevocable fact in our heart. So that is what the whole purpose of the gathering and doing the kirtan and uh, hearing the glories of the Lord and associating with the devotees, serving the devotees and taking prasadam, all these things is to get that bhakti. The whole purpose is that bhakti. All the other things is byproduct. 
the happiness, the 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 pleasure of meeting devotees, the the pleasure of enjoying prasadam, the pleasure of singing, hearing or singing nice beautiful kirtan. Everything is byproduct. The whole thing, the sum and substance of all these activities which we do, is to help get bhakti. That is the whole purpose. So. Today we are with the blessings of Vaishnavas, with the blessings of all the devotees assembled here. We will try to speak or we will try to um, <coughs> think about some of the pastimes in the Bhagavatam. Today Mataji has asked me to spoke, speak about the prayers of Gajendra. Mm. Mm. So as I was mentioning, all this, Bhag, all this beautiful li literatures, Bhagavatam, Bhagavad Gita, all these beautiful literatures are filled with these stories and pastimes and beautiful relationship between Krishna and his devotees. So whenever you are hearing those lectures, whenever sorry, whenever you are hearing and reading, or associating with uh, the Bhagavata, the book Bhagavata, or the person Bhagavata, what happens is that our mind will be automatically purified, because those pastimes by itself are purifying. Hmm? So we will try, even though <coughs> a person who is Bhagavad, in Bhagavad Gita in Bhagavatam, the first canto, it is said that even though it is, uh, you know, um, imperfect, imperfectly recited. Even though it is imperfectly told, but the Bhagavatam itself is so potent, the, the, the pastime itself is so potent, it will supersede all these imperfections and will really pierce into the heart of the listeners and the, uh, and, uh, and, the, and the, pers the person who is speaking also, right? So it's a, it's a two-way purification. So, it said that um, when you are actually sitting on the Bhagavatam class, <coughs> two things will happen. I am trying to rem uh, remember that shloka. Actually saying that Yatra idyante katam rishtas Trishnayo prashava mamaha Right? Nirmamu Nirvairyam Right? No dvego yatra kashanaha Yatra idyante the more you sit and hear the lectures of Bhagavatam, the more you hear the lectures, the more you read the lectures, two things will happen. Nirvairya mitra bhudeshu. Nirvairya means what? Vairya means what? Enmity. Enmity. Nirvairya means there will be no fight. Right? No udvega yatra kashchana. Udvega means anxiety. No udvega means anxiety will go. Right? So this will automatically happen. So if you are getting vairya with somebody while sitting on the class, if you are getting udvega, if you are getting agitation, that means you are not properly listening to that. That means this is not actually applying. That medicine is not working. Right? So that is what Bhagavatam says. That such is a glory of Shrut uh, Bhagavatam. So <clears throat> today we will concentrate on the prayers of Grajendra because all of us, most of us at least, know the past times of Grajendra. We've been uh, <coughs> reading, we've been hearing this past times, but then most of us also know the prayers of Gajendra. Um, when Mataji told about the prayers of Gajendra, I was thinking like, you know, Gajendra prayers are such a vast subject matter. You know, even, you know, all the great Vaishnavas or great, uh, great uh, uh, devotees, they are still contemplating on each and every word and syllable of that prayers. It's such a pre treasure. It's one of the big treasures in, in the... It said that uh, Srila Prabhupada in one of his lectures said that Gajendra prayers is very much applicable to each and every person in this material world. <coughs> you know why? Because we are all like Gajendra only. What was the situation of Gajendra? Trapped by crocodile. Crocodile, right? Yeah, he was in trouble. He was in deep trouble. He was being, you know, he was being trapped. What, what is it? It was being... Uh, he, the, the crocodile, a big crocodile was uh, was biting to his leg mm -hmm. and he was trapped there and he was just crying, right? And he had no other hope. 
he tried his level best his wives were pulling his tail his friends were pulling his tail you know no, nobody is going to help nobody was able to help him because the crocodile was such a powerful you know creature and was not able to get any help from outside any anybody then finally he just you know Sorry. surrendered to the person who is sharanam sharanyam the person who is most qualified to give shelter and who is that Vishish. the supreme lord right so propa said that gajendra prayers is the most appropriate for all the people in this material world who are who are struggling and who has got the intelligence or at least the you know that mercy to think that okay i have to take shelter of the lord how unfortunate are the people who don't even know whom to take shelter of isn't that true yeah. right we don't know. some people don't even know that whom to take shelter of right so we will try to meditate on the prayers of gajendra and then uh, before even starting there if you if it, it is said that if you start gajendra prayers you should never break in between we should make sure that lord gajendra is been rescued by lord vishnu <laughs> what does that mean it will take some time maybe one hour plus if it is okay then we can start let it snow let it snow let it snow let it go let it go All right. <clears throat> okay, so we will actually uh, do the Mangala Sharan, and then we will start. By the way, is that okay? Possible? Yes. Can we do the Jendra prayers? Yeah. Prabhu, Smata Ji's. But there is a request, Prabhu. So before we start the Jendra prayers, if you can give us a little background, I past time, I as to what happened, I who is yeah. what, and yeah. you know, how did they come out? <coughs> you can ask Prabhu how to do that. ज्ञानतिमरांधस्यानाजनशलाकया चक्षुरुन्मीलिता